This video will go over how you can use IR Plus for your authoring and versioning needs. The first step, of course, is to log in. Use your username and password that you have been assigned, and then you get to your workspace. This is my workspace in IR Plus. I use it a lot. Right now I have things organized by type, like folders first, and in reverse alphabetical order, because I happen to be working this way. I can make folders, I can add a f one file, I can add multiple files. When you're getting ready to work, you like to set up your workspace the way you want it. Right now I'm going to change the order so that things are organized by alphabetically. I know that I need to get the Word version of my CV up here so that I can get at it from wherever I am and work on it. I've put my files on my desktop right now to get at them quickly. Notice how I always used to have to change the name of the file to show what version it was. In IR Plus, I'm not going to have to do that. So I upload the file, and now I've got the PDF and the Word version. I'm going to put those in their own folder. I just make a new folder. And then I'm going to select the two files I want to move. Click the Move button. Click the Destination folder. And click Move. Here are my two files now in their new folder. Files, Folder. I'm going to go back up to the top level. The next thing, I just want to alert you, you can also move, share, publish, and delete things with the drop-down associated with every folder or every file in your workspace. There are a lot of useful functions in that drop-down. Now you can see I've been, as I say, I've used IR Plus for a long time. I have a lot of stuff up there, but when you're starting, you might want to upload a lot of files at once. So you use the Add Files button, and you browse, and you add another, and you browse for the next file, the next file, and the add another. Our music library uploads 30 to 40 items at a time this way. It makes life much faster. Okay, let's go on to the interesting thing of working with other people. I have an article that I'm working on with some other people. Now I've already shared the abstract, but the outline and the author guidelines I still need to share. I could do it one at a time right here with their drop downs, but I can also select them both, hit the share button, and I get this screen. All I have to know to share a file is the people's email addresses. There are three people in my organization and one person outside my organization. I can write them a note why they are getting this link. And then I give them their rights. The user can download, edit, and upload new versions but I haven't given them the right to share this file with anybody else. I click Invite, and it shows me that all these people have now been invited and are sharing the document with me. Now let's say that I'm that outside user, the person at uwm.edu. I get an email, and it invites me back to the site. If I didn't have an account already, I would create one. And you can see it's a simple, quick form to create an account. But this outside user does have, have an account already, 
So they're going to just log in. And here is that outside account user's workspace. When you get a file shared with you, it shows up in your shared file inbox. Notice that tab. Wow, this user has had four items shared with them. To work on them, you have to move them into your files, into your workspace. So that's what we're doing here. And here they are. Now, let's work on that file. When one person wants to work on the file, they're going to use the item drop-down and choose Lock and Edit. That will keep anybody else from editing it at the same time. You get the usual, what should I do with this file? I tend to say, open it. La la la. And when it opens, I immediately save it. That way, I know exactly where it's been saved to, so that my computer doesn't play tricks on me. And I usually put it somewhere easy, like on the desktop. So I simply save it, same name, don't change the name. Then I put in my edits. Save the file again to save my edits. And now I'm going to put my new version back up in IR+. So again, I go to that drop-down, and this time I choose Add New Version. The usual window, I browse for the item. I put it on the desktop, so I just have to go find it there. There it is. I can write something into the description to alert the other authors that something happened. And it thinks, and there it is. Now it's unlocked. There are now three versions. You see the versions under the Properties link. In Properties, here they are, version 1, 2, 3, and to go to an earlier one, you just click the link. It's all saved for you right there, and you never have to think about it. And the whole system is backed up ni nightly. Your work is safe. Thanks for watching.